Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. In recent years, the United States has paid close attention to the development of China's semiconductors, worrying that China's development speed is too fast, which will shake the leading position of the United States. So the United States formulated various chip rules, blocked plans, and wooed allies to expand the scope of export controls. The U.S. approach is unpopular, and many people have opposed it. For example, Bill Gates said that the U.S. will lose many high-paying jobs, and it will never be possible to prevent China from having powerful chips. With two pieces of news coming in, Bill Gates was right. The United States has a wide range of chip restrictions. From EDA industrial software to lithography machines to various semiconductor materials, almost all technologies related to the United States cannot be shipped to companies on the entity list unless they obtain a U.S. license. Even if it is not within the scope of the list, high-end technology products cannot be sold freely on the whole. For example, ASML's EUV lithography machine has been restricted for many years. It is basically unrealistic to expect the United States to look back, and the United States does not know what regret is after taking this step. Even though many U.S. companies are facing an economic recession, revenues have plummeted, and layoffs continue to fail to wake up the United States. Even Bill Gates said that blocking chip shipments by the United States will make China self-sufficient, and they will lose many high-paying jobs. In an interview with British media, Bill Gates also said that it will never be possible to prevent China from having powerful chips. The actual situation is developing in the direction that Bill Gates said. There are two news from the country that the U.S. blockade plan has failed. The first news, Huawei broke the ice with 14 nanometers EDA industrial software. Before the birth of a chip, chip design is required. It is very difficult to design a chip with billions or tens of billions of transistors. How to ensure that each transistor can conduct electricity, and how to ensure that the intricate chip lines are connected in series, this is inseparable from the EDA industrial software. EDA can complete a series of automated processes of chip design, and is an indispensable tool for IC chip design manufacturers. It's just that EDA technology has been monopolized by foreign countries for a long time, and Huawei can only rely on its own research to get rid of the impact of the U.S. blockade. The good news is that Huawei has broken the ice with 14 nanometers EDA industrial software, worked together with domestic companies, and basically realized the localization of 14 nanometers and above EDA tools, and plans to complete comprehensive verification this year. This is undoubtedly good news. With the support of software, there is the guarantee of hardware. Huawei has broken through the blockade and mastered the technology of mature process EDA industrial software. With continuous accumulation, it is believed that it can further break through to a higher process in the future. The second news, the University of Science and Technology of China has developed gallium oxide vertical trench gate field effect transistors. Transistors are the lines through which the chip transmits signals and have functions such as rectification, switching, and voltage stabilization, and are the most basic single component of the chip. The larger the number of transistors, the stronger the performance of the chip. In order to improve the performance of the chip, 
researchers have focused their research on changing the structure of the transistor. Based on this, the University of Science and Technology of China has developed a gallium oxide vertical trench gate field effect transistor. Gallium oxide is the fourth generation semiconductor material. Previously, 11 in University of Posts and Telecommunications had prepared high quality epitaxial wafers on 8 inch silicon wafers, but the problem of P type doping of gallium oxide had not been resolved. The existing gallium oxide transistor technology has problems such as difficulty in improving the power quality factor. At this time, it is necessary to find a new structure as a solution. Fortunately, the University of Science and Technology of China has broken the ice and found a new structure solution for the gallium oxide transistor. This is of great help to the domestic development of fourth-generation semiconductor ultra-wide band gap materials. The previous generations of semiconductor materials were almost always led by the United States, and other countries stepped up to catch up, respectively in the second generation of gallium arsenide and indium phosphide, the third generation of gallium nitride, silicon carbide and the fourth generation of gallium oxide and other materials, accumulated deep preparation technology. China has shown a very large competitive advantage since the third generation of semiconductor materials. Major domestic mobile phone manufacturers use gallium nitride for chargers to expand its application value in optoelectronic displays and automobiles. But this is just the beginning, and future-oriented gallium oxide is the most important thing. Fortunately, Chinese researchers have not let everyone down, and one after another good news comes one after another. In addition, China's effective gallium oxide patents rank first in the world. According to statistics from South Korea, 240 of the new gallium oxide patent applications from September 2021 to November 2022 came from China, followed by it is 87 pieces in Japan. This shows that Chinese researchers have been in-depth research on gallium oxide, and they are in a leading position in the world in terms of mastery of preparation technology and exploration of patents. The United States dominated the first generation of semiconductor material silicon, and China began to develop new semiconductor materials. The more restrictive the United States is, the easier it is to arouse China's determination to self-develop. So the US blockade plan will fail, Bill Gates said very yes, the US will never be able to prevent China from having powerful chips. On the road of self-research, China will keep going. If you like and agree with this video, please like it, welcome to forward, comment and share. Thank you for your watching.